Today I have the O-Ray BK-401A, 4 input, 1 output, 8K HDMI switch. This product makes it incredibly easy for you to share a single 8K ultra high definition monitor with up to four different media devices at the same time, and you can decide which of those media devices is being displayed on the monitor at any given time by tapping the button on the front or using the infrared remote control. The product fully supports 8K ultra high definition media content and is both HDMI 2.1 as well as HDCP 2.3 compliant, which means it's going to work fine with all of your modern media gear. It also provides audio extraction capabilities that will digitally separate the audio from the media you're passing along to the monitor and allow you to send that to a home stereo or a sound bar through an analog or a digital connection. Now, as part of this review, I'd like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit, and then I'll take a closer look at the actual unit, and I'll explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use it, and then I'll come back and point out a few things that really make this product special that you can use to compare it to other products you may be considering. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, you'll find the module, you'll find a single 5 volt, 2 amp DC power supply, you can simply plug this into any wall outlet. The other end has a barrel connection on it which plugs directly into the unit to provide all the power you'll need for operation. Also included is a remote control that makes it really easy for you to make your selection from quite a distance away from the switch. You'll find a warranty card and a full instruction manual is also included that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and other really important details you'll need to understand about the product in order to use it correctly. Now if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the unit, and then I'll come back again and point out a few things that I like about this unit that you can use when comparing it to other products that are similar. The BK401A features a full metal enclosure, which makes it a great choice for home and commercial installations. On either side of the cabinet, you'll find ventilation slots that are designed to let any heat that develops during operation escape and keep the electronics inside at a comfortable temperature. On the front of the unit, starting on the left, you'll find an infrared receiver window, and that's where the signals from the remote control are picked up. So when you set this up in a media center, make sure that window is visible if you're using that remote control. To the right of that is a power indicator. When you add power to the module, it starts an internal power on self-test. Once it passes that test, it'll light that LED, letting you know that the module's ready to use. To the right of that are four input indicators labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4, and these let you know which of the inputs is currently being sent to the output. And you can change that by using the remote control or by tapping this button right here. To the right of that is an output indicator. When you connect this up to your display, that HDMI connection is checked by the module. Once it's been verified, the output LED will come on, letting you know you have a solid connection. Now you can individually decide which of the inputs is sent to the output, or you can use the automatic mode that this product provides by putting it into auto mode and letting the module decide which of the inputs is being sent to the output. Typically, it'll be the one that's powered up. So if you have four devices connected and you power up a game console, that will automatically be sent to the output. To the right of that is an eARC indicator. This product is eARC compatible, and if you're using a device that's also eARC compatible and you turn on the eARC functionality, this LED will be on solid. If you turn on the eARC capabilities and the device isn't eARC compatible or you have a connection issue, this LED will be flashing. And if you turn off the eARC functionality, this LED will be off. To the right of that is the switch I'd mentioned a minute ago to select the input. To the right of that is a bank of EDID switches, and these are used to change the frame rate, resolution, and audio style for the input media versus your display, and these are fully explained in the manual. To the right of that is a service port that's used for upgrading the firmware on the module, and to upgrade the firmware, you'll simply connect this to your computer, move the new firmware file to the module to complete that upgrade. On the rear of the units where you'll make all your connections, starting on the left, you'll find four input ports that are full-sized HDMI ports, and these connect to whatever media devices you'd like to choose between to display on your single monitor. You'll notice the input number one is labeled eARC as well, so if you're using an eARC device, make sure you connect it there. To the right of that is an output connection. That connects up to the display you'd like to enjoy the content from your input devices, and again, it's an eARC compatible port. This unit provides audio extraction capabilities, which digitally separates the audio from the media stream you're displaying and allows you to pass that along through a digital SPDIF or an analog left and right connection to a home stereo or a theater system for that better quality audio. And if you'd like to use that function, simply make a connection here to your audio system. 
Finally, to the right of that is a DC input port, and that's used with the included power supply. Simply plug that power supply into a standard wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs in right there and provides all the power you'll need for operation. I hope that closer look was helpful. Now here are a few really important things to keep in mind when you're comparing the O-Ray BK-401A, four input, one output, 8K HDMI switch with other products you may be considering. The first thing has to do with resolution. This product fully supports 8K ultra high definition media content on all four of the inputs and the output, which is extremely important because a lot of other HDMI switches may only support a lower resolution like 1080p or 4K. And even though those other switches may work fine today with the equipment you own, as you upgrade your media equipment or your display to 8K, it's nice having a switch that will support that higher resolution at the higher frame rate, which means you won't have to upgrade your switch. Another important difference is the fact that this product fully supports both ARC and EARC standards, which is the latest for audio and video equipment. So if you're using a newer soundbar or a newer home stereo, it's completely compatible, again, with both ARC and EARC, which means you're going to get a wider variety of different audio codecs that you can play through the unit. Two other important differences are the HDMI 2.1 certification and the HDCP 2.3 certification. And the reason those are important is because the HDMI standard has gone through a lot of changes in recent years, which have introduced a lot of new features and functions into that standard. So knowing you're on the latest version of HDMI means you can immediately take advantage of all those features. And the HDCP certification is equally important because that controls copy protection. So knowing you're on the latest version of HDCP for 8K content means you can play a wider variety of copy protected files. One other big difference is the fact that this unit provides audio extraction capabilities where it will digitally separate the audio component from the media stream you're displaying and allow you to pass that along through a digital SPDIF connection or an analog left and right connection to a home stereo or a soundbar for that theater experience. Finally, the kit includes an infrared remote control, which is very nice because normally if you have to make a selection, you've got to walk up to a unit and hit the button. Having that remote control means you can set this up on your media center, sit back in the comfort of your couch, and make your selection from quite a distance away. Pretty much everything you need to get started is included with the kit. It's a very simple product to use. I've owned it for quite some time and I like it an awful lot. So thanks for watching.